In this demo, I'm going to talk to you about Navigator Search, which is an enhanced capability in Workforce Central. Um, but first, let's look at Quick Find, which you may already be familiar with. Uh, Quick Find is a way to search on employees in the database, uh, get a list of those employees, and then perform some action with them, uh, which could include going to another part of or workforce timekeeper such as the time card. So let's try that just to refresh your memory. I'm going to enter the first three letters of an employee in the database and then I'm going to click find and that returns uh, the one employee in the database that has those last three uh, those first three letters in their last name. So if there were more, uh, the list would have returned several employees. So I'm going to select that employee, and now I can do something with that employee. And in this case, I'm just going to right-click and go to the time card. So here I am in Devin's time card, and I can now take actions if I wish. So that's Quick Find. It's very easy to use, especially if you know who you're looking for. And Quick Find is you know, still available and can be uh, used, but there is another feature, an enhanced feature, called Navigator Search, and that's what we're going to really look at today. Now, if you've been assigned a search widget, which is the Navigator Search uh, widget, it will be up in your upper right corner here in the navigator and you just click that to open it. So with the search widget open now I have a search field that I can use and I'm going to try the same search that I did in Quick Find. I'm going to type D O R and now as soon as I have typed at least three characters Workforce Central is going to supply me with a set of options. Uh, these are things that it has located in the database that use those three letters, things that it knows to search on. And you can see that list is down here. Now you can see that it does have a list of people here that have that those same three uh, characters in their name but it also has a section here called who have. Um, so for example, people who have Doris Maynard as their assigned manager because D-O-R is part of her name, Doris. So it's not just a list of employees that have that last name, it's also other things in the system. In this case, these are managers or people who have an email address of DOR. So it's a much more robust search. Now if I see something here that I like that I want to look further into, I can select it. So I'm going to select Devin here just kind of like I did in Quick Find. But now when I select the name, not only is that person selected, but I now see information about that person over here and you can see people is where I selected so it's showing me information about that person over here there's phone number email address employment status who they report to etc uh, so it's a bit like a window into parts of their people record so you can quickly look up information now let's see what happens when we select another one of the search uh, returns over here who have Doris Maynard so I select Doris Maynard and now I'm not looking at Doris Maynard's people record because I chose it from the section called who have assigned manager now it's going to show me information relevant to Doris Maynard as an assigned manager so these are all of the people that are currently assigned to Doris Maynard uh, in the people record now you can also search on other things besides names. So I'm going to clear the search field by clicking the X. 
now all of my results go away and I'm gonna try something else I wanna look for locations so I'm gonna try typing L O C and I could keep typing and it's now already asking me were you looking for location is that what you're searching for the answer is yes I want to look at location so I click location and now I get uh, a set of the of all the employees in the database and their locations where they are their home locations and you can see down here that it says 154 results during the current pay period as of this time so these are all the people in the database in their home locations as of that 154 people now let's try something more specific let's try an actual specific location I'm gonna try department 3 I'm gonna try the abbreviation DEPT 3 and you kind of may have noticed there that as I kept typing the search narrowed when I did DEP it started listing a whole bunch of departments then when I typed the T space 3 now it's narrowed down its return to just things that have department 3 DEPT 3 in them so I'm going to select the result that's in locations and see what that gives me that returns the people working in department 3 there are 36 results in the current pay period and these are the people and the location where they work and now over here in the job return section that's all the jobs that are in that department so I can see job 7 I select that and that shows me the people in that department that work job 7 now that job 7 is a generic name in this demonstration database you obviously would not have something called job 7 in your database but for demonstration purposes that makes it easier so let's try another search I'm gonna clear out the field and this time I'm gonna search on pay and there we see there's some results payroll pay rule pay mg if I type R as you can see again it sort of narrows and I type the U it narrows now the only thing that it returns is pay rule were you looking for pay rule sure and as you might expect that returns people and the payroll that is assigned to them so we can see here Donald Adams is assigned to the professional salary WFS payroll and these are columns so you can select them and sort them uh, alphabetically so uh, by clicking the payroll column now I can see all the people here who have who share this same payroll I can scroll down the list and uh, see more people and their assigned payrolls this is a, again a simple demonstration database so you're not going to see a whole lot here right now now search also has a hints option and I, when I clear out the search field hints become enabled and I can turn them off or on by default they're off but if I select on now it presents me with a list of all the different categories I can search on so you may uh, remember that there was a people person name right so there's that uh, we found payroll that's also in the list so the different categories that were possible things that could be returned from the search are all listed here so you can select an actual category so let's try that now I'm gonna try assigned manager and see what happens I get assigned manager and now I get a shorter list of different managers that I might want to look to see who's assigned to them so let's pick Nora Yen and now I get to see the list over here in the results window um, all the different people that have Nora Yen as their assigned manager now the results from a search are often useful just in themselves 
you know, you, you may just want to know who's assigned to that person. But the search widget also lets you select people and do something with them, sort of similar to what you could do with Quick Find. So let's try that. That's where the, the Go To button up here comes in, which right now is disabled because I don't have any selected employees. But I'm going to click Select All, which selects all the employees in this search. And now my Go To button here appears, my Go To Control, and I can use that to go somewhere else. So I'm going to select that and let's see uh, the schedules for these people. So I'm going to choose the Schedule Manager widget and that's going to load that widget and now these same people that were part of my search I can see their schedules. Let's try one more type of search. I'm going to close these. So let's suppose you want to find out which employees are currently on premise. So we're going to type P-R-E-M in the search field and the search widget says were you looking for on-premises? Yes. So let's click that and see the results. Now you can see f from the results of this search that there are actually no employees that were returned. That's because this is just a demonstration database and nobody's actually badged in. But if there were employees badged in, that's where they would appear. Now what I wanted to show you here on this search is that some searches uh, have additional results or filters that you can use. And in this case there's a show filter and if I open that up I can see that there are different things I can display. There are, this is a true and false kind of uh, search. Either someone is on premise or they're not on premise. Now it defaulted to true to show the names of people that are on premise, but we can choose false and now it will show the names of everyone who that is not true for. They are not on, on the premises. So that would be everybody um, that I can see. That's 154 employees. So you can see that there's all kinds of different searches and that based on um, which type of result you look at, you'll have different options and different kinds of information. So it's a much more intelligent and informative kind of search than simply using Quick Find. Now one last thing I'd like to add before ending is just that the search widget is configurable. So the things that I showed you here if you have a search widget, you may not have, say, all the different categories that were shown here, or you might have additional categories. Um, it will be tailored to suit your particular job role. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.